Good morning all. Um, this will start the next video for us. Yesterday uh, we wrapped up the day by being here at Bramwell Junction Roadhouse. Uh, yesterday afternoon for us we whipped the buggies off the trailers. We took them for a run down and started to do the telly track. So Palm Creek looks pretty wild. Um, there was a video circulating around on Facebook where an 80 series went end over in there. It's easy to see why. I'm not taking my ute down there, no way. I uh, probably wouldn't even take the buggy down there because the buggy would go end over as well. Uh, just taking the fridge out of the back of the cruiser and slapping it in the buggy. That's what we'd be using for our day missions and probably pack a lunch and stuff like that. Other than that, everything else is pretty good. Uh, we're just sort of packing up camp now. Everyone's in a mad rush to sort of get out of here. And then we're going to be hitting the telly. So today uh, we're going to actually get another night here at Bramwell. Uh, we were originally just planning on the one night, much bigger buggy afternoon yesterday, and to drive out, um, drive out of here with buggies and trailers because we'd have an idea of where we're pointing the utes with trailers today but that isn't that didn't happen yesterday obviously as you've seen in our last video with a few maintenancey things on the trailers as they were bedding in and working in and whatnot um we had to do quite a lot of running repairs or running maintenance so today like i said get the toys off and go for a run i'm gonna check the oil actually we're gonna check the oil in this thing before we get going too hard and we'll show you telly in buggies. Right, so this is the telegraph track. We didn't show you the sign earlier because it was pretty busy with people taking photos, and that's fair enough. We, we got a few for ourselves yesterday. Um, we're pushing down a bit of a road now, and this is what leads you to Palm Creek. So, Palm Creek's not far up here now, I think, and uh, we'll show you what the big hole is. Bang on it. I'll drive straight up to it. Oh no, this is one before. Just cruise down to Palm Creek. It's looking pretty gnarly. Holy shit, that thing's huge. I'm going for a gander at this.
So that was Palm Creek, that one that we just showed you then. A couple of folk going down. My, uh, my appendage ain't that big. I'm not doing that. But this is our next best bet. So small vehicles, uh, short wheelbase, and this is our track in. We did walk this one yesterday. So this here is a bit, a, a bit gnarly. Um, we've got to sort of pick our lines here, like I said, because the wheelbase and stuff on these are just so small. Once we get past that, this little wombatty section down there sort of really flattens out. And although there's some big holes just down there where I'm pointing, I think we'll be okay in the way of straddling that stuff to get through and get out. We've also had a look at the fact that we've grabbed our long straps from the car. We can throw a winch on that. It's probably not ideal for four-wheel drive, but something like a little side-by-side. -side. We can wrap our strap around that and winch back up when we're coming back to camp at Bramwell later today. So I think we make a move and start getting down here um, before too much crowd turns up, because then we're going to get the then we're going to get the audience. I think it's not always good. Right. Yep. The right front's going to want to drop in. Square up. Yeah. Straighten up. Yeah. This is Palm Creek. We're in the creek now. Uh, we brought the buggies down here. A few cars are doing a few of the crossings. For us, it's about sussing. Oh, that's getting deep. For us, it's really. Oh, if I go over, we're both going over. <laughs> that's all right. Hey, sir. You go first. I must be riding like the high side of a rut because you're doing bad. Yeah, it's really shallow up here. Um, yeah, it's probably the Yeah, oh. So we're walking down to see where the main entry is that everyone does and then this is also the main exit or main exit point this is where we just seen that what was it trial oh and the cruiser yeah, 76. all right you up and down there mate <laughs> what do we like holy do Looks gnarly. Making it look easy, 
Ziva. Big wheel lift, but he made it look easy. So, you either come straight down there and out there or out there, or you come down one of the two or three other tracks to the right. And then you just follow the creek line. So, like I said, this is all for us, just checking to see if we can get trailers down here to start with. We're hoping we can, we think we can. And doing buggy runs all the time means that it's a bit easier to uh, scout our lines. This is gnarly. The next one is flat. Oh, mate, stuck. They're going to have to give him a bump. He's like proper chassis out. Yeah. These guys are coming up the creek now. <laughs> Not for me. You stole it. Huh? Oh, no one's in the car. No one was in the car. Oh, he's dragging the cruiser down because it's not idling. Oh. It's easy to see how accidents happen. Oh, yeah, you dropped your down for one second. Yeah. Yeah. There's an easier one. Oh, he's going to do a tail lot. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh, is that his bull bar hanging out? Oh yeah, but the water feels lovely. Right, a good spot for a uh, quick pull up. Let the feet cool down for a minute. But because we're now heading back, sort of found a good spot where we think we might be camping tomorrow night. Uh, on the whole scouting mission in the buggies. We have got to now start doing the track backwards. So, that means north to south. Whoa, there's a few rocks in here. We're gonna get back up that. It's not a drama, uh, but I also think it was quite steep. So just to avoid the buggy being on any gnarly or odd angles, um, I'm just gonna set up a winch extension strap from the ute. Uh, into this so as I walk over if I can oh bomb knee deep you should suss out the waters up in Cape York before you just start wandering in don't do it unless you properly feel comfortable I suppose because crocs could be anyway but this bank here just the severity of how steep it is would be the part that I'm worried about. So, I've got my winch blanket and I have winch extension strap. So, 
I didn't bring a tree trunk protector from the car, but I'll probably just double that around and wrap that up because that is, I think, 20 metres. So I'll have 10 metres throw it back down for the buggy just because that to me looks pretty steep. So instead of doing CVs and stuff like that, I'd rather just winch a little. So basically, pick your tree, any tree, and see how we go. Righto, so I found a big tree up the back there. Probably can't see it, but you might be able to see a little bit of strap hanging down. Um, winch blanket, and I'll leave a shackle there just in case we need it. Like I said, I've just swung that one around the tree, but this is probably, it's not too much for the buggies, uh, but we've only got like sort of, oh, I want to say like a work, work each style of buggy. So some of the angles can get a bit how you're going, a bit carried away. Um, Pop it'll come down and he'll start pushing through first, I suppose. I'll try and talk Riley into bringing ours through. I might set her up on the winch and get her to drive across this one. Sorry, bank's a bit narrow on my feet, but my focus is going elsewhere. Otherwise, my whole setup, me, will end up in the water. Alright, right, hey, so, yeah, the girls, Riley's gonna drive this one. Pop it's coming through at the minute. I'll try and get back over there as quick as I can. But, uh, oh, a few rocks and stuff in here. So, again, knee deep. And I'm not, I'm not the shortest fella, but we'll see if we can guide it. And probably, I don't know, see how we go. Pop it might try and drive it first, but should be good. set up but he drove that easy so it's best to have it ready as a just in case i suppose because you you want it to be there so you're not scrambling for it this would be a good confidence booster Big old wheel there. Woohoo! Yeah! I was more worried than I needed to be. You did that easy, man. I'm good, thanks. Nailed it. How'd you go? I'm good. Yeah? I'm good. Do that one again? <laughs> Wipe off the sweaty palms? Oh, well, at least we had everything set up just in case. You don't want to do Palm Creek? Don't know if I can do Palm Creek. You can do it. Alright. What do you reckon? It's not as bad as going down that last one. It's not as steep. Not as steep. Just maybe a bit more the track. Yeah. A little bit of a hole there, but Once, yeah, pretty the, easy those to guys just have ride definitely it. done it. 
Once yeah. you start to go, you just gotta let it roll, I think. Yeah. And then Great. just coast it down. How are you finding it so far? It's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're finding awesome. it sober. <laughs> really good. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's good as. Challenging, Recommend. but it's good fun. Recommend the buggies? Definitely worth it. Extra effort, but definitely yeah. worth it. Even a quad bike. Like, yeah. it's just a couple. Yep. Yeah, quad bikes are a lot more affordable. A lot of second hand ones floating around because you've got to get them with roll bars or something now, but. You want to be confident. Yeah, yeah, with, with a quad. quad bike, yeah. yeah Actually, like yeah, don't bike. rate that. <laughs> Don't, you don't do that. Yeah. yeah, buggies have at least got the rocks, I suppose. Yeah. Other than that, yeah, four drives. That's what this was done on. Exactly right. So, oh, we'll have a debrief back at camp, but we'll get this one done. We want to grab the tape, have a measure while yeah. we're here. So at the moment, uh, we're just trying to suss out, like we said, somewhere to bring the cars for tomorrow. Uh, we'll show you that. But... Uh, we've seen a few people do this one quite successfully yesterday. The one we took the buggies up before, which is, I know, what a, a stab further east, I suppose. Um, sort of makes sense, maybe. Yeah, sure. Whatever it is. As you're coming up, it's on the right. But it was good for the buggies to get up this morning. It is 2-1 wide, 2.1 metres. Our trails are 2.4. So this section here that's quite wombat holy, so big wheel lifts. Uh, is looking like us with the trailer. The only problem is everything's dry, good run up. If we're slipping and sliding, I can't overly see a really good tree to winch off. So there is that one behind Poppet's buggy over the back there, but if that is the case, we're going to probably be linking up two winch uh, extension straps to try and get that. And I feel like once we position the cars and trailers down here, that might be a goer. Everything I'm saying could turn around and not happen, and we could drive it easy, we could drive it hard. I'd, I don't know, but it's good to have an idea on how that's going to handle tomorrow. So, so far, the um, plan is come in that point we took you through this morning along the creek here, then tomorrow morning we'll try and get across here and where these two trees have like fallen over onto each other and scissored into each other, we're gonna get everything under that and up there. So, it's quite cool to be at Palm Creek. That's your, that's your main exit. That one is gnarly as, and if I spin around, there's your entry. So, we might even, um, I wouldn't mind bringing the buggy down here and I'll get a photo for Facebook or whatever it is in these and we'll get some shots, I suppose. Anyway, we'll show you how we're tracking along. This is just in sight. Enjoy. I've convinced Riley to have a crack. Like, that's where I am. She's way up the top there. So, I'll guide her down. We'll build some confidence. Yeah, the girls. Just keep it square. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. How good? You getting in? Yeah. Did you like it? No. <laughs> All right, do you want to roll forward or film pop it?
so much fun. So we're rotating everything around. We just got a quick photo up the top there of the entry to Palm Creek. And I'll take you to where we watched some float people go up earlier. This is absolutely gnarly. That's obviously a goat track. And this, oh, I couldn't do this. But you don't have to. There are other tracks here. Like, that's a log that's been stuck there for quite some time. I'm looking straight up. That, a 35 would sit in that nicely. Yeah, I wouldn't do this with me trailer. Good on the people that do. It's quite the spectator sport, actually. Looks quite good, but um, as long as you come here with the mentality of not for me, I think the idea gets lost of you've got to take your car home or you still got to drive your car home. So if I was 18, mate, I'd be up that. I'd be breaking things to get up that. But at the moment, it's just good to have a gander. Like I said, great spectator sport. We'll wander back down Palm Creek. We've picked our exit for tomorrow, so now we just gotta get back up and out of here. And then we'll um, pack everything up on trailers and stuff tonight, load up so we can hit the road tomorrow and start doing some crossings. Keen? underestimate what these can do. 